it's sent to the salt. Solve the problem for you. Okay, anyway. Is this, I think it's recording, right? Yeah, I got a record request. Okay. Uh, it doesn't show on the screen when you're sharing anymore. I don't know. It's uh, weird. Seems weird. Anyway, hi everybody. The upper right hand corner for me. It says it's not recording? No, it says that it is, oh. but it's way in the upper right hand corner, like above the chat. Oh. If you have the chat on the right hand side, like not free floating. I do, yeah, that's weird. Okay. Hi, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It's been one of those days. Um, yeah. Uh, you're here at the Chaos DEI Working Group um, weekly call. We're super happy to have you here. Sorry, there's noise. Um, of course, the timing is fantastic. Right outside my window. Um, anyway, just so you all know, this is a part of the chaos community. So therefore, this is under the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind as you interact with us today. I'm super, super happy to have Errol Fox here, who is going to go through the second half of our defining community. We just have a couple of announcements before that. Um, real quickly, I wanted to make sure everyone know, uh, heard this. Um, Sean did a proof of concept yesterday in the weekly community call. So right now we have that community contributions.md file for all of our non PR contributions like facilitating meetings or design or whatever those might be. And um, right now you have to submit a PR to add your name to the file and what um, was the nature of your contribution. Um, Sean was kind enough to do an, a more automated, easier way to do that through an issue. So you could just open an issue with the issue template that he set up and um, it will do it automatically for you. So that is fantastic. We did the proof of concept yesterday, so Sean's working on porting that over to the real community uh, repo. So that will be really great. Just wanted to make sure everybody had heard that news. Um, the second thing that I wanted to make sure everyone knew that we have this submission form now. If you have things that you want to share with the internal chaos community, something to go maybe in the weekly newsletter or mention at the weekly community call or some other thing, um, there's a form. It is through Slack, so you will need to be in Slack to uh, to access that. There's a link in the general channel, and also I pinned this at the top of our, our Slack channel too, so you can find that there. It's also if you want us to help you amplify something outwardly to the external chaos community. So if you're giving a talk on chaos, if you have a blog post, something that's chaos related that you want us to share from the official chaos channels, just fill that form out and we will um, get in touch with you and you'll figure out what the best way to do that is. And we maybe even like at the end of today's call, like, um, like just fill out that form and talk about the work that Errol has been leading. Yeah, yes, excellent. Like that's the kind of thing that we have not been great about sharing externally and it's super fascinating and very interesting, I'm sure to all of our communities. So yes. Definitely. Good idea, Matt. It's like five minutes or something at the end of this call. Yeah. Um, the last thing I just wanted to quickly mention is that um, Chaos Asia community is trying to build a database of all of the open source work that's going on in Asia. So if you know of some, um, there is an issue that you can just add the information to. They do want it in this kind of a format, so I'm guessing there's some kind of automated thing going on. But if you know something, feel free to add it to that issue there and help them build that data, database out. Okay, I think that's it. Does anybody have any quick questions before we jump in? Okay. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so Errol can take over. Hey, I'm still getting used to all of the Zoom changes, so pardon me while I locate those things. Okay, there we go. That should be screen share. <laughs> Let's open that up a little bit more. Okay, so folks uh, should be able to see my screen. Let me also drop in the chat. 
This is a Miro board, uh, the thing that I'm sharing at the moment. It's a virtual whiteboard where um, everyone should be able to collaborate. Uh, do you know what I'll do actually just before? Do, 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 do. Yeah, hey, just... I like this thing. That's good. I'm just going to save a backup of the board. Um, because before I was just about to say, uh, everyone can edit this board. So anything that already exists here, you can go in and you can uh, change, um, which means you can add uh, more information or remove information. So I'm just uh, downloading a version of it now, just in case anybody makes a mistake and deletes something, then uh, you should be able to do a you know undo uh, function on your device to be able to bring that back if you do. Um, accidentally remove something that you didn't expect to, then uh, that's that's how that works. Um, and uh, I don't know if you wanted to give like Matt or Sean or uh, Liz, if you wanted to give like a background of this this kind of work before I launch into part two of, of defining community um, or whether you want me to, because I'm happy to kind of do the recap of what we what we've been doing. I think we're all going to suggest that you do it, Errol. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so um, interrupt me if anything is inaccurate or correct me at the end of when I'm talking. Um, so uh, for folks that don't already know, um, uh, there have been a series of different um, activities or exercises that uh, me and my colleague Georgia have um, brought to some uh, chaos meetings and originally they were at some chaos meetings which were regional leads meetings um, that, so uh, you can kind of see uh, way back in March we, it was when we started um, this board so if you did want to kind of check out the history of, of what happened with the regional leads and then um, at a certain point when we were kind of um, we, we kind of thought, oh, well, this doesn't have to just be the regional leads that participate in this. In fact, it's really good to bring these kinds of exercises and activities to the community. So that's um, when uh, we introduced some of these exercises to the DEI call was when we started to um, work on some exercises around how do we define community um, as, as the chaos project? Uh, what are the ways in which we can define community? Um, so I won't describe all the different things that we've done in the past with the regional leads. They're all things that you can go ahead and, and read. Hopefully they should be fairly self-explanatory. If you can access the mirror board, you should be able to kind of read Kind of what the what the premise of each activity is and then the content types that that got recorded for by various people there um so that that's pretty uh accessible hopefully let me know um you can always drop me a message on uh, the chaos slack uh if anything if you're curious about anything in particular and you'd like like a video explainer i can record anything about a particular section if you're curious um and they're also all every past section could be uh, like copy pasteable. So if you are like, oh, I'd really love to do like a contributor journey for somebody that's doing a particular kind of contribution at, at the Chaos Project, and you want to kind of take this template, copy paste it, and then uh, create a new contributor journey for some some um, type of contributor, you can absolutely do that. Uh, this this board should facilitate that. Um, but I want, uh, we did a exercise, um, not last call, but the call before, I believe, um, a little bit before a US holiday. Uh, and one of the things that we were trying to do, which is quite a tricky thing to try and do, is try, trying to define what community really means uh, in terms of like an audience type, or just kind of what it means as to to for what the word community means to the chaos project how to define it how do we define it um and you know completely honestly i never had a particular ex exercise that was looking at how to define a term so i had to, i i have been creating one as um i've been thinking about this problem um and uh, the first part of the exercise was uh, going through a series of different kinds of words that were previously 
indicated by the regional leads in other parts of the workshops that um, either kind of relate to the word community or that are the word community. And we had a, a series of really um, wonderful stories uh, from people about describing these terms. Um, so if folks didn't see what was done the last version of this exercise, then I really encourage you to take a look at some of the stories that were um, told by people around like togetherness in the chaos project. Um, and so all with the intention of trying to use these stories to help inform what community means within, like what is the definition of community within um, the chaos project. Uh, some of the words that emerged from these stories specifically, or the sort of shortened phrases from the stories are kind of collected down here. So we've got words like connected, moving at the same pace, fitting in, feeling at ease, finding friendship, respect, meaningful work, uh, education on particular topics like health metrics, fun, empowering others and getting things done, things like that. Um, this isn't by any means like the closed book on this part of the exercise. I would encourage people, if you have a story related to the chaos project around any of these words or other words that are connected to community, I would encourage you to add them. Uh, and if you find new words that you would like, uh, that are that come up a lot in different stories or that feel particularly important, then I would I encourage you to add them down here. Um, if uh, you're unsure of how to do that um, practically in Miro, you can take a, a previous kind of sticky, you can do your copy paste function in your um, browser and you should get a new sticky note somewhere. So that's uh, how you can uh, create like a new um, sticky area. You just click on the click on the, the colored kind of square and uh, you should be able to create a new one if you want to add in and to add text to these sections. Uh, if uh, you have, a, for instance, a blank one currently. If you just click and double click into it, you should see your um, like text typing cursor uh, happen here. And you should then be able to type in uh, text. So just a little quick tutorial before we go into the next section of, of this. Um, yeah, an arrow. Yeah. So this is really interesting. I wasn't at the last meeting just in terms of what you're seeing with respect to community mm. that's coming out of this discussion. Um, have you done something like this for other communities without naming them? That, mm. Like, it's just so different because like I look at kind of the synthesized part there at the bottom, yeah. and like very little of, of it is actually about like community health <laughs> metrics and stuff like that. A lot of it is about like the things you have there. And yeah. so I'm wondering if you have seen different communities kind of lean in more towards like community to us means like, like building a thing, whatever that thing, mm -hmm. might be. you know, I just, it, just really interesting. That's all. I think without, without naming projects that I've been involved in. I yeah, think right. I wasn't going there. <laughs> it's it's your secret info. Secret info. The secret info is the, when I've done a similar exercise with other open source projects, the difference that I interpret are projects that consider themselves what I think is more like a workforce staff team is when people will describe the kind of functional outputs as like the meaning of like how they do the work or the focus of the work. And I think um, I think this these other kind of terms do do kind of come up with other groups, but I think the interesting thing, just kind of like reflecting on the spot of what came out as most meaningful is like the these are like the I guess if you want to use this kind of terminology like the unique things that that are valued within the chaos project around like these community terms and this is like 
I don't think that um, what you're describing is like absent, like the focus of like what we're doing is focused around like these, like building this, like these metrics, these health like um, metrics, but or like other parts of the project. But I think the thing that is clearly like coming through for the people that are participating is like, these are like the things that I have experienced that have has like defines the meaning of doing those functions. <laughs> if that, and yeah, I very right. I very kind of rarely see that in the open source other open source projects that I I sort of see like like a sense of like oh like usually the meaning is in the the thing that continues to exist and be useful for people and communities uh, or like people that are interested and like the interaction level is a, a little like kind of um, an aside um, but anyway um, yeah it's interesting and I think uh, to kind of uh, very briefly kind of reference some of the stuff that we were doing previously like in the regional leads teams I think that there was a sense of like this being the things that were expected goals and concerns and values of like how to build like like when we were first like trying to describe what is chaos and for whom I think that th this a lot of what we've got here is kind of yeah chaos is about building these these tools but because I do this, I get all these other things. Like I've made friends, I've built relationships, I have m meaningful experiences, um, which kind of helps again with like, when we were doing things like the contributor journeys, it helps to understand, especially from like the, uh, we, we were doing the contributor journey of, um, I think we were looking at newcomers to the community quite a lot. Um, a lot of this kind of stuff kind of describes what happens. So it can be like, we can look at those stories in order to better kind of say, well, what can we make sure happens at what stage? Um, or what can we encourage at what stage? You know, cause you can't force people to be friends but you can definitely nurture an environment where people end up bonding together. But anyway, um, but yeah, you might like in some open source organizations, I might have had more of a result, which was more like community means delivering thing together at the right, like at the appropriate time. Right. Like, that's where my <laughs> mind always goes, just kind of with open source in general, like make a thing, yeah. you know what I mean? And then, yeah. and then you see this and you're like, all right, <laughs> and all this, <laughs> which is yeah, yeah. really cool. Um, I just find it really interesting. It's it's very cool. I would be I would be um, uh, lying if I didn't say that I was like not surprised that these stories existed. Like because they weren't surprising that this this happens in the community chaos community, but that it was like um, I was uh, not uh, given like my exposure <laughs> to other open source projects. It was like. A breath of fresh air in some ways like I'm sure that there are tensions as well in in the chaos project but it seems like through the value of like friendship and co-creation and gathering like tensions seem to be easier to resolve like yeah anyway anyway well thank thank so, you for that answer that was great <laughs> no worries sorry I went on a little a little um no it was great it was a it was also a nice recap of things we've done prior so yeah so so folks if you have stories um from from your experience in the chaos project which relate to any of these kinds of words like friendship co-creation gathering please uh don't hesitate to um you can either type them in the chat here in zoom if, if miro is a tricky tool for you to use or if you are able to use miro you can double click into any of these kind of blank uh, stickies and I'll just I'll just make a couple of extra ones just while we uh just now so that if folks have extra stories they can but what I'd really like us to do um next 
is I've adapted the, the next stage a little bit from, from what I had originally planned. And what I'd love for us to do is um, take some of these kind of shorter words and phrases and essentially kind of build them into sentences that use those words to define community. Because I feel like we're defining community through stories here and words. And then the last sort of step of this is uh, to build phrases uh, from these that that really help to kind of like solidify that sentence of like the chaos community prioritizes every prioritizes everyone feeling at ease, or the chaos community defines community as a feel as feeling at ease with one with each other, and I um, encourage you um, all to kind of not. Uh, not be like nervous about using certain words like you might perhaps if you felt nervous about using the word prioritizes everyone feeling at ease i'd say write it down um and then they can be refined afterwards but the idea is to just kind of fill fill stickies with um phrases that use these words around like the the kind of definition of community so I've added a couple in here. So I've added in ease and connected, and I've added a couple of examples for ease. Uh, and then I would encourage you to kind of look at the list of words that I copied over from uh, down here. Uh, it's not all of them, but I'd encourage you to look through these, pick one uh, if it's not already like ease or connected, add it up on the top row, row for the word. Uh, there's another series of uh, columns here as well. And then go ahead and start building out like sentences that, that kind of use uh, the framing of the chaos community and then the descriptive word in order to kind of almost define it as a the chaos community uses this descriptive word. I think it's an adje adjective. They're not probably not all adjectives, but uses this word to define community in this way. And, and let's let's start building those phrases. Um, so yeah, if there's a word that you see that hasn't been copied over, please feel free to go back and read these stories. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop, um, I think, ten minutes on a timer just so folks can have a. Maybe I'll do more like 13, 13 or fourteen minutes so folks can have a chance to read um, the different things and and do some some editing there. Um, yeah. Uh, do that. Do, do, do. Oh. oh, what am I allowed to do? I'm going to do 14. Okay, 14 minutes. Uh, there are no incorrect phrases. Think think about what comes to mind uh, with these, these words and um, the definition of community. Now I shall, I shall mute. Uh, are other folks that haven't um, said out loud uh, understanding what kind of roughly is being asked. You can use the chat if you'd like to use the Zoom chat. Um, Egan, Aidan, Adeyinka, is this all, this all makes sense? I'll take silence as a affirmative. Yeah, uh, silence is a assent or agreement. Or awesome. Willingness to get started. Perfect. Um, sorry, Mario, please, what did you say? Sorry, can you repeat? Okay, I said, what did you say last? I didn't get that. I, oh, I was just that. asking, I was asking whether uh, it's clear what um, oh, okay. what we're doing. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Great. Up to you, up to you, uh, Liz, if you want to pause the recording. Start the restart. So by building out these sentences, do you think it's helping you to get towards a more like clear or developed, like at the very least making some steps towards like how to define community in like more, more term, uh, so previously it was all about like we all have kind of an idea of what the community is and how the community defines itself, but this is kind of like the exercise of what does everyone think, getting it all on one page and kind of having that shared understanding. Do you feel like you're get, kind of getting closer towards that goal? I do. It's, it's, 
So I didn't find it really difficult to write these sentences, which was nice based on the stuff that you had over there on the left, you know, on those yellow stickies. Yeah. Um, Time's up. So um, I think what <clears throat> what I struggle with is like, like I'm okay with all of the columns and everything that's written in the columns. But it's just, it's that like, what do we do about it? <laughs> ah, <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> so, and I feel like, like clearly we're doing a lot of these things if these sentences are fairly easy to write and if yeah. people are writing them. So we're already doing it. So maybe we don't do anything and we just keep doing what we're doing, <laughs> whatever that might be. <laughs> um. Just a, a quick direct response to that um, as I write, make sure that this one is recorded from the chat. Um, so I think, yeah, one of one of the things is like, is that, yeah, we all kind of are doing this stuff. It's, it's been in our heads. This I'm, I'm glad that this didn't necessarily feel difficult because it, yeah, like you said, it's all stuff that kind of everyone knows already. That the chaos community prioritizes these things because the stories have been told already. And I think this exercise was that just that exercise of like, you know, almost a sort of forced, let's all get it out of the brain and onto a, uh, a shared canvas like together. Um, uh, so that there's like a, a space where people are like, uh, externalizing like what we kind of already know essentially um but the yeah what we do is a really good point hopefully the thing that's on like the next board which I wasn't necessarily expecting to get to today it was going to be something that I leave you as homework um hopefully we'll we'll get some steps towards that but yeah um did anybody else want to comment on like the, the kind of sentence building are there missing are there missing terms I noticed that there was one in the chat that just showed up yeah experience yeah um yeah I'll add that in there is the experience column there is yeah yeah, yeah. sorry sorry yeah uh, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I suppose like taking. Thank you so much, uh, Ada. Um, for for that example, I hope you're you're okay with me using it as an example to kind of uh respond, uh, like continue responding to what Matt was saying in the sense that this this sentence is really valuable like the chaos community provides the, the community with the hands-on experience through interactive and practical projects so one could say community is defined by the existence of in the chaos project the existence of hands-on experience through interactive and practical projects that is one way that somebody is defining what the community is and provides and it, the expectation so then the question would be like, how do you facilitate that to continue to exist? How, what are the ways in which I might even ask, like at some point people that have written certain things, like what, what projects, what things facilitated that interactive, what, what, what interactive and practical projects like at, uh, enabled that definition to be true essentially. And then you can kind of get, um, probably some more content that heads into um, a previous exercise that we did around like making sure sustained participation happens, making sure like participation, like those kinds of details from these sentences can then help like, well, okay, these are the kinds of things that enable that definition of community to be true. So we should make sure that those expectations are met. So I guess like this exercise is kind of trying to put neat sentences on things that that can be added into some of our previous like activities if, if that makes sense for the folks that that were here for all the kind of um contributor journey work 
Um, but in the interest of time, sorry, you're all seeing my calendar because we're, I just wanted to check on the time. I love a, I love a canvas. I love like a thing which has sections for different things. You know, I think that they're, they can often be useful. Um, I've tried to repurpose one, which I believe was originally called Project North Star. I don't quite know actually like exactly what this canvas was used for. But I, as I was looking at it, I was thinking that this could could be a way to like, what's the word make um, what do we make that what do we do about this def definition um, a little bit more concrete. So I would um, you don't have to choose the word ease. It can be one of the other words that that resonated much more like experience, uh, respect, or perspective. I chose ease because it was the one one of the ones that I used in example. Um, but the idea is to use one of the defining words to then start to write information as like a community group in each of these sections. So some of the examples that I've um, done here for the word ease under some the two headings that I've done here, which are like people and roles and then goals, I've written for people and roles, I'm Errol, I play a role in making the chaos community more at ease by communicating and making design understandable. Or that's one way I could be, that's one way I could define my role as making the definition of community as the ease of it make sense. And that's something that I can continue to do. That's an action thing that I can continue to do and, and commit to. I've also um, kind of then but, oh, I didn't do Errol, but e -jot, e -jot. there we go. Um, like one way that I can bring that into the goals is being part of at least one onboarding conversation about design in chaos per year. And again, that's kind of defined by my own level of like understanding of involvement and kind of way that I can I can build the goals. But I, I, looked, at, I looked at this canvas and I was thinking, well, what if we took each of those terms and tried to like if I left you with this canvas, whether or not it like each section worked perfectly for trying to like work these these terms in. But I feel like this is one way that you could continue to think, well, what can we do to make? What can we each do by adding each of our own stickies about experience? Like, how can I how can I ensure that experience as a community definition is continued in my role by ensuring that hands-on experience on interactive and practical projects is still there. My role could be identifying hands-on interactive projects. My goal could be finding at least one interactive project per quarter, kind of, it depends on what, what people kind of want to commit to or not. But I feel like that might be the next step around like what can be done like some some kind of way of segmenting in in these kinds of canvases like the the particular terms but as far as like defining community i don't know how you want to go about like collecting these statements but essentially you've got a definition of community through stories um and sentences and phrases and you know it may be that you kind of want to collect these in like a markdown like text file it may be that you kind of want to make some artwork about it who knows you know it'd be lovely to see like a word cloud or like some kind of um imagery of like these different sentences and phrases but I feel like when I first started like this journey with it, all of you around like activities, I kind of wondered, will we get to like a bit at the end where it's like community is defined as word, word, word and word, full stop. And then I kind of realized no community and chaos is kind of defined by these stories. So I would guess, I guess like I'm inviting you to make public in the way that feels most appropriate these stories and can maybe continuing them. Uh, and then kind of working on the action and the doing by like going, okay, what are the things that we can ensure still happen about these stories? I like um, that. Could I, could I add one thing maybe that I was thinking about while you absolutely. were talking? So like, obviously the columns, like respect and focus on metrics and perspective, all those kind of columns mm -hmm. um, with respect and then the stickies like that were even prior to those. And the stories those those came from people based on what we're already doing mm. you know what I mean? and so like um 
So part of me too would like to kind of capture like this is how to your point like this is how we see community and these are the things that we have been doing over mm -hmm. the last two years we can't map like one to one like the newcomer bot <laughs> makes people <laughs> more creative like that we can't do that and i don't know that we'll ever be able to do that but mm -hmm. um maybe just trying to also work out you know what were the things for people that when they look at the community, what were the things that we are currently doing that kind of drew them to the, that column where they wrote something or that story that they told? Because mm -hmm. it, it's also nice that we don't change anything. <laughs> we just keep, we keep fostering this environment um, that we've built up over the many years with many people. So just a thought. Yeah, I have a question about that. How would we identify gaps? You know, it seems like we're doing okay just based on this, but like what what aren't we doing that we should be doing or could be doing? I good question. I would take the um in order to do that, I would take the exact exercises that we did around defining community and kind of flip them, right? So what are the stories about like, what are the words that are not kind of, it's a little bit harder because like there was lots of content that I could find words to then build stories on, but like trying to identify like the things that are absent or uh, less, less common and then kind of doing again, like stories or like ident identifying like, I don't get a lot of, x when i participate in chaos or uh, you know not not necessarily kind of a it, it's difficult because those kinds of exercises you don't want to kind of encourage people to go on like a um uh vent uh run run vent sort of thing but um structuring around like a story where i would have liked to have got this i think or like this was the thing that didn't something didn't feel quite right in this situation because i think that also people kind of tend to struggle to define what was missing. They can kind of usually say, well, this is a situation and something was missing. I'm not quite sure what. So it might be a little bit of a longer exercise, um, but then essentially it's kind of like flipping these exercises on like to that kind of what was missing perspective and what are the stories about what was missing um, or what could have been like missing. Um, Okay, that's that's very helpful. Yeah, thank you. Other than other than that, you're probably looking at some kind of tedious and kind of um, annoying kind of gap analysis kind of structures. <laughs> otherwise, whereas it might it might be you might find it's more engaging and more it's more in keeping with the things that people enjoy in the community to have the conversations. It's it's yeah. That's fair. Thank you. No worries. I'll have a look around and see if there are any other like more engaging ways of like finding out what's uh, missing other than that, that kind of immediate response. But but yeah, um, I hope you all are maybe excited to do something creative with with this content, like even if like people record little like snippets of audio or like do little, I don't know, social media posts. I don't know. I, I, there's so much there's so much good stuff here in the stories that I would love to see um anybody you run with like any creative project around that so i'll be excited to see but i won't take any more of your time i've already gone over my time um uh, and i shall thank you for your for your time and attention no thank you <laughs> for running us through Girl. this any time <laughs> anytime i'm always happy to try and find like mechanisms or processes that help kind of you know bring out what 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 we all want to kind of explore so yeah anytime that you're curious about anything you know where i am you know how to find me um <laughs> just let me know what you need <laughs> thank you errol thanks errol okay. take care folks take care everybody Bye. Bye. Bye.